Hi guys, I just got something awesome in the mail. I just got my Makita track saw and I am super excited about it. Let's unbox this beauty. Gotta gently set this down, only thing that happened to it. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to say that this is going to be part of a multi-part series where I dive into everything you could ever possibly want to know about the saw. This is just the unboxing video, but we have a ton more videos to come that's going to show you everything from setting this thing up to making complicated cuts. So be sure to subscribe and watch for that playlist. I have put off buying a track saw for years, and I just finally bit the bullet and bought one. And I'm super stoked and excited. Alright. Bring that camera closer. Devin's got the camera for us so you can't see his sight excitement. He's all happy and thrilled. Oh my god. Oh, oh, bad. So I bought this from Tool. Tool nut, not sponsored anyway, bought it with my own money, but it is the Makita Brushless LXT 36 volt. Takes two 18 volt batteries and gives you a cordless track saw. It came with that and a 39 inch guide rail for $500 even. And then I bought a 55 inch rail, I bought a uh, 118 inch rail, and I got this cool little square that goes with it. And we're going to unbox all this. So here are my two extra batteries. That's sweet. Here are my connector sets so I can connect my guide rails together. Kind of chopping off your face, by the way, because that's like damn me that. This, this little bit. Nobody wants to see your face. They want to see my joy. Oh. They want to share in my joy. Oh. Ah. All right. So it comes with a uh, sustainer of some kind, and I believe it's compatible with the vegetable sustainers. Let's find out real quick. I think what's ever in here didn't make it. Whatever. So they sort of fit together, and then let's see, latches come up, and. Yeah, so it actually latches together. So uh, I don't know why you want to go that tall because it's kind of heavy, but they do latch together, so that's kind of cool. But you are missing the T lock, which is pretty sweet, honestly. So compatible with sustainers, that's nice. So let's see what we got. We got that. That. Shouldn't there be? Clip right there. Okay. Oh, right. Now for the moment of truth. So this is what comes in the box. We've got an owner's manual. Let's read this step by step. Eh, whatever. More tools to buy that are Makita tools. Probably will do that. Nice cardboard. Best tool doesn't give you any cardboard in box, do they? <laughs> and this beauty. Look at that. That is nice. Let's lock that down. It has a nice little insert right here for the saw to sit into when you're traveling. Very, very nice. Set it right there at 20 millimeters. Nice little twist turn. Locks pretty good. Comes with a nice looking blade. Let me see if I can drop it all the way down. Ah, yes, that's cool. Okay. That's how you lock the blade and change it. Are we still filming? 
You like complete. How do you lose interest in this, man? It's yours. <laughs> okay. So it came with a nice little sustainer for the battery charger. So let's look at that. Wow. This is nice. Like yeah. for 500 bucks, guys, honestly, just the battery charge. Like if you bought all this stuff individually, like a battery is $99. You're getting four batteries for 500 bucks plus a charger and a saw and a track. Like that, that's a hard deal to beat. You got it. Yeah. That's cool. They feel nice. Got a good little thing right there. No charge. That's a bummer. That feels kind of flimsy, honestly. So very nice. So you've got your charger right here. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna make it where this will stay in here, notch out where I can plug it in. That way, wherever I go, I can easily get the batteries on here and get them on and off. I might actually flip it around that way. No, that was the way to have it. I'm going to flip it around this way and get the batteries on and off. And it looks like you can have, yeah, this looks like it'll hold about four batteries. And you can get them on and off the charger and charge them all in the case. Not sure if that's what you want to do, but that's what I'm going to do. And it's got a cool little USB out on the charger as well. Um, feels like a very nice charger. Um, I don't have a dual chemistry or a dual charger like this, but thanks to this battery setup, I should never be without a saw. Like I shouldn't be able to wear down these batteries faster than I can do that. Yeah, so I bought this mainly just break down sheets of plywood, do case work, do mill work, one by maybe some two by material. Um, that's what track saw is for. If you're doing heavy, heavy duty stuff, then you probably want to get a bigger saw. Let's go ahead and open these batteries up. Whenever we go to the ER later, we'll be able to show them the video of what happened. What? How did this happen? This is what happened. Hey, buddy. New tools. Yes, you can. Isn't that cool looking? Daddy. Yeah? I had fun at the park. You did have fun at the park. I'm glad you had fun at the park. I went to a water park. Dad, I went to a water park. No, it's red. Yeah, I went to a water park. You went to a water park? Yeah. Did you? I, I did a bought any swimming pool, but my mom goes and that's so close to me. Yeah, so you were able to play and get wet? Yeah, and then the bucket got water in it and then it fell on my head. It's built on your head? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I like that. Ah, uh, you can't leave them plugged in though. So you can't shut it with the batteries on, and you wouldn't want to because you actually want airflow. Huh? You put the batteries in that. Yeah, you put the batteries in that, and so you can store them in the saw. There's room right there. All right, so there is room, it looks like, to store four batteries. And these are the five amp hour. So there's room to put four amp hour batteries in this case and still be able to latch it. So that's pretty cool. It's a little back heavy because we've got all the batteries back there now. I put this up on the wall. It's like a wish list. You get a backpack, um, a backpack, uh, shop vac. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you want that. Garden sprayer, handheld back. A Roomba? <laughs> you can get a Roomba. What the heck? Yeah. Alrighty, now for the tracks. Right, so I will get to these two things in a minute. This is a really cool tool that I'm excited about. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the track. And like I said earlier, it came with a 39 inch. I went ahead and bought a 55 inch and then I have 118 that I actually got a couple of days ago and it's already on a shelf, but I'm gonna make some custom brackets. One thing I am gonna do with this saw is I was looking around and I 
There are tons of videos and reviews on this saw, so this is a review like every other review. But one thing I haven't really seen a lot of are like tips and tricks that go with this saw. Like I found good videos here and there, and I'm planning on linking to them. But I want to create an entire series from this video all the way through jigs, accessories, tips and tricks, and things I learned from using the saw from storing it to using it to making complicated cuts with it and different jigs, features, hardware you can buy, all that. Have a full playlist of that. So if you're thinking about the saw or you own the saw, be sure to subscribe. That way you can get notified and there will be a Makita track saw playlist on my YouTube channel. And I've got to say, these are great looking rails. See how nice that looks? Nice and straight. In the interest of brevity, I'm going to cut this video here, and I am going to do a multi-multi-part series, starting with trimming the tracks, setting up the saw, basically do a full YouTube series in a Makita track saw playlist that's going to be everything you could ever possibly want to know about this saw. This video is just the unboxing of the saw, just my first thoughts, my the excitedness of I got a new tool and wanted to share that with you. So the next video is going to go over the tracks, getting them trimmed to size, getting that set up. Then we're going to go over every single adjustment on the saw. We're going to look at the batteries. We're going to look at every single part of it as an overview. And then we will come back and then start setting up jigs, fi fixtures, tips and tricks that I learn what to do, what not to do. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will see that next video when it drops pretty soon.